What is good, everybody? Today, we're back with some brand new stuff going on right here, man. We have some WWE action figure news that could be news. It could be... I, I, we have a lot of info. We have a lot of info to discuss in this video. I just want to preface that and just kind of put it out there so you guys can be aware of this. I, You know, I, I sit back and things come across my desk. And, you know, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, oh, that shish ain't real. And I throw it out. And then sometimes it's like, oh, this may be, taking, you know, this may be worth taking a look at. So I want to preface this video with saying that none of this could be real. This could all be false. And this could all be complete. Completely fabricated. However, when things come across the desk, I analyze them and I analyze this stuff and I looked at it and I said, you know what? Some of this looks like it could be legitimate and I want to pass it along. Now, there was a laundry list of stuff on here and I'm not going to get into every single thing because I'm not going to sit here for 40 minutes on some stuff I think would be made up. But I want to tell you why I think it could be legitimate and then I'll get into all the reasons why and what I could see and what I think of these things and all these different stuff. But we're going to get into some potential leaks of WWE action figure lineups coming up right here. And none of them really sound too far out of bounds, man. I I don't know. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section below, but let's just get into it. I have some ultimates. I have some elites. We're going to dive into it and just kind of discuss everything, man. So apparently this is what could be coming. Basically what this video is is a list of potential leaked WWE action figures, and you can tell me what you think of the legitimacy of it, what you hope's real. If you think it's real, if you think it's false, you can let me know, but I want to preface it with none of this has been actually confirmed, but I wouldn't make a video on it if I thought it was complete hoopla, you know what I mean? But the first Monday Night Wars Ultimate Edition that we're getting into is going to be American Badass Undertaker. Now, I know we've speculated that we would get an American Badass Undertaker with fantasy book that we've talked about it, and I could see them putting that into potentially this line right here. I could see an American Badass Undertaker. I, I don't know if I would really look at it like the Monday Night Wars line, though. Like, I wouldn't think of American Badass legitimately being in the line, or I wouldn't, it wouldn't be the first thought that came to my brain would be, oh yeah, American Badass Undertaker gotta put him in the Monday Night Wars line. Not that it couldn't fit in there, I just, it wouldn't be my first thought, but I think it's realistic to be in that. And I would personally love an American Badass Undertaker. It's It's been fantasy booked. I've talked about it for a long time on the channel how much I, I loved American Badass Undertaker. I was a huge fan of him as a kid, and I would love to see an American Badass Undertaker. Just any any Undertaker from that era, I will take it, especially in Ultimate Edition form. And We've kind of talked about that and what they could do with it. There's a lot of fun things they could do there with the jean vest or the non-jean vest or the long hair sculpt, short hair sculpt, bandanas, chains. There's a lot of cool stuff you could do there with ABA Undertaker. But the other half of this set, you know, there's always two ultimates when we get into these Monday Night War sets or these Ruthless Aggression sets. There was always two ultimate editions featured in each line. And this one, the other half, was DDP. Now, can you think of what DDP could be for this Monday Night War Ultimate Edition? I would think that it would probably be the Nitro Stage Crowdfund Failure Project, DDP, the one that was supposed to come with that Nitro Stage. I could see them plugging that in here, man. That would not really shock me at the slightest. We've already seen a few of these figures released as elites. I could see them plugging that DDP in right here. And honestly, not the most exciting one. I, You know, we've seen that figure twice, I believe, in elite form before now. And now this would be our third time getting it in this gear. It would just be Ultimate Edition form. Now, I guess I could be wrong, but we just got the Monday Night Wars Elite DDP. I haven't gotten shish out of the Monday Night Wars line, but... It is releasing, you know, the light blue jeans, the, the the look that everybody wants. With the rib wrap and everything, that's really the look that I would want. And it's the look I would have wanted out of an Ultimate Edition, but it looks like it would probably be the... It looks like it would probably be the Nitro Stage Failure Project Ultimate Edition DDP. But that's what it has listed here is the two Monday Night Wars Ultimate Editions, which are completely realistic. I, I really... Looking at that line right there, I would not think to myself, no, there's no damn way that this is real. So, I don't know. That's... A, that's a, it could be real. I think that this is a legitimate lineup or it could be at least. Moving on up, we do have a potential Monday Night Wars Elite Series. So to go with these Ultimate Editions, we have a list of Elites here and you can tell me what you think here. The first figure is going to be The Rock. Now I know we've already seen The Rock in the Monday Night Wars line, but The Rock has so many different looks, especially and he's a very popular character. I could easily see them putting him in another Monday Night Wars line. That would not shock me at the slightest. I could most definitely see the Rock being plugged into another Monday Night Wars line. I don't think that would be too much out of the realm of possibility. The next figure in the set, D'Lo Brown. I could see them absolutely doing a D'Lo Brown. Maybe it would be a re-release of the Elite 52 that we saw way back in the day. That figure was pretty damn good. We do know that we got a Legends Elite of D'Lo Brown as well. They had the Chase. Remember, he had the blue Chase figure, and then you had the regular Nation of Domination figure. So I think they could do a re-release of the Elite 52, man. You know they're always about re-releasing figures. I just feel like that would fit right up in there and maybe even the rock in this set would be a re-release you know it wouldn't even be really a repaint or anything maybe they throw a shirt in there maybe they throw a title they could easily re-release a previous rock figure change it slightly throw it in there 
just like they've done in the past. And then D'Lo Brown would be no different. I think they could absolutely do those things as well. The third figure in the set in this list right here is Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner, we just saw him in Elite 105 not too long ago. I think it was, or we saw it last year at Comic-Con, not this past Comic-Con. And then last year, or I think it was last year, right? Last year we saw the Elite 105 Scott Steiner. So they could easily repaint that figure and put him in the line right here, man. That would not be something that would be too, too crazy. Maybe they throw in an accessory or something like that. You could easily repaint the Elite 105 Scott Steiner and have a perfectly brand new Scott Steiner to include right here in the Monday Night Wars line. And I think that could absolutely be the case as well in this line. So we have The Rock, we have D'Lo Brown, we have Scott Steiner. The last figure that would be in this, not including the build figure which we're going to get into, the last figure they have listed here is Hacksaw Jim Duggan, which would be an interesting pick right here. You know, it's been a really long time since we saw Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and it would probably, it could potentially be a repaint or just a straight-up re-release or maybe an elite version of that basic we saw back in the day with the face paint that everybody loves so much. So there are a lot of things going on here that we could see, but this looks to be a completely possible Monday Night Wars line. You can let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely absurd. You can let me know all those things down below. But the Build-A-Figure for this set is where I think a lot of people would be excited. And I'll get into why I don't think that this Build-A-Figure is too outside the realm of possibility because of previous Build-A-Figures we've seen. So the Build-A-Figure apparently, or, you know, allegedly the Build-A-Figure for this wave is going to be Gilberg. Now, that is absolutely nutty. I know. I know a lot of people will be excited about that. But we have seen Kid Dominic. We have seen Nicholas. We have seen the Great Kali. We have seen so many damn crazy figures years, especially in the last couple years, that having a Gilbert Build-A-Figure would not be outside the realm of possibility in my imagination. Now, I know it's all about who's under deals and who they have under a Legends deal and who they can make and is he under contract and all those things, but I don't know. Given what we've seen thus far in the history of WWE even tell, they're always pushing the limits. They're always trying to get these crazy Build-A-Figures in here, and this would not shock me at the slightest to see a Gilbert figure. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I don't know. This just this this wave as a whole really didn't seem too crazy to me. I, th I think I could see all these things taking place. So you have this Monday Night Wars Elite line. Apparently it says Series 7. Now I don't know what series we're up to. I think we're up to Series 5 or 6 right now. I don't know exactly off the top of the dome, but I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I guess anything's, you know, subject to change, all those things, and I'll get into that in a little bit, but they do even have some basic figures listed right here, and they have some main event showdown packs. I'm not even going to get into those because I didn't want to even fill out even more stuff that could potentially not be true, but I didn't really want to speculate on all that. But we have a Monday Night Wars Ultimate set. We have a Monday Night Wars Elite set. Let's get into a main Elite set right here that we already know a lot of the figures in that are already confirmed for this for this wave, which kind of adds to some of the legitimacy, in my opinion. So, Elite 116, some of the figures we already know about. We already know that Jade Cargill is in this set, and in this little leak right here, it does have her listed underneath there. Another figure that is confirmed here is Brian Pillman. We found that out at San Diego Comic-Con that he would also be in this set. Another figure in this set next to Brian Pillman would be Father and Son. We have Lexus King, Brian Pillman Jr. right here that would also be in this set. Now, all three of those figures are listed in this leak, and we are we've, we saw it confirmed at Comic-Con, so that doesn't really shock me. Now, we do have some figures here that weren't confirmed, but we also have another figure that was supposed to be in Elite 117, but we do know that things are always changing. There's figures that go up a wave, back a wave, you know, different priorities. Things happen on WWE television. They need to help business. They need to, you know, maybe stretch something out or change something to, you know, affect the sales of a figure. They have done that in the past many, many times over, so... The next figure that I want to talk about is Axiom. Now, Axiom was a part of Elite 117, but here in this league, they have it as Elite 116. Would not shock me. Would not shock me, because the only figure we really saw of him, we did see him at San Diego Comic-Con, and it was listed as an Elite 117, but they could very easily change him into Elite 116. I think that would not be something crazy. But the next figure is going to be Jey Uso. Jey Uso listed as an Elite 116. Now, we do know that Jey Uso is very popular. He was very popular throughout the last couple years, especially with the Bloodline storyline and breaking away from Roman Reigns. Then you had the injury to Jimmy, and he was main event Jey Uso. And then you have the Yeet stuff. So he's very, very popular right now, especially amongst kids. You know, I saw one guy on Twitter the other day say that, you know, this generation's Jeff Hardy is Jey Uso. I don't know how I feel about that quite yet. You know, in 
terms of, you know, the strength. I don't think there'll ever be another Jeff Hardy, but uh, in terms of popularity, he's super popular, and I could see I could see kind of the parallel that they're trying to make right there with that comparison, but I think that Jey Uso being an Elite 114 and then getting a chase figure and then being an Elite 116 is not crazy. He's also in a top picks wave. I think that Jey Uso is uber popular right now, and I think that him being here would not shock me at the slightest. We've seen guys like Punk, guys like Roman, guys like Cody, these really popular superstars, Dominic Mysterio even, being put in waves that are not too far apart. So that would not shock me. I mean, he's kind of like today's equivalent of Rey Mysterio in similar ways when it comes to re-releasing or getting a figure of this guy over and over and over again because he is so toyetic. He's got a lot of tattoos. He's over with the Yeet stuff. There's just a lot going on there. So I think that having Jey Uso here would not shock me in the slightest. Now, the next figure in the set, which apparently is going to be the Chase, is going to be Logan Paul. Now, we do know that Logan Paul is coming in a near top pick set. He's coming in a set that's going to feature CM Punk, and we do know about those two top picks figures, and we actually found out about the third figure in that set, which I kind of want to save for a different news video, but Logan Paul is coming in an upcoming top picks wave, but apparently he's going to be coming in this wave right here, and I knew about a certain Logan Paul we were going to be getting that still has not seen the light of day, and it's been since, I think I saw that like two years ago or something like that, and they never made the figure. Is that what this figure is going to be? Maybe, potentially, maybe they scrapped that figure, maybe... They completely made that figure up. I'm not entirely sure. But Logan Paul being here wouldn't shock me either. He really doesn't have... He has one elite, and he has the top picks elite coming. We already had that other top picks figure, and then he has the ultimate edition. So having a figure here in the main elite line with a chase wouldn't shock me at the slightest. There's definitely some gears they could make, even though he he only really has like two good gears ever. Maybe uh, maybe they'll be made in figure form, so we'll see. I don't know about all that stuff, but Elite 116 Logan Paul as the chase, that doesn't... Uh, I don't think that's too crazy. I don't think that's too crazy, but that'd be your full wave. You have Jay Cargill, Brian Pillman, Lexus King, Jey Uso, Logan Paul as a chase, and Axiom as the Elite 116 wave, which is a completely realistic wave right there. You have the women's talent, you have the throwback talent, you have the rest, you have an NXT talent, and then you have three other guys, or two NXT talents, really. So, so I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Just, uh, I think it's completely plausible. Completely plausible. But let's move on to this last bit of news right here, and I know you're like, damn, it keeps going. Yeah, I mean, I think, again, this seems to be, I, I don't want to say it's absolutely 100% confirmed legitimate, but I think it's definitely on the realm of possibility, but let's move into it, man. We have a Target exclusive box set. You know that Target has been on a kick with Mattel releasing these box sets over the last few years. We've seen many box sets. Even back in the day, like eight years ago or something like that, we were seeing box sets. Seven, eight years ago, we saw some box sets, and then the box sets came back around. We had the Raw 30th Anniversary. We had the Then Now Forever Together 60th Anniversary set. We had the Evolution pack that's coming later. We had that SmackDown 4 pack. We had the Hogan 3 pack. There are a lot of these box sets coming, and I, for one, am actually a big fan of the box sets, so doesn't pay me none, Brad. I'll be all over the box sets, but this box set is very interesting. It's called the Legends of WrestleMania box set, and this box set seems completely legitimate. I mean, after that Then Now Forever, if you would have seen that Then Now Forever box set leaked out, that 60th anniversary with Stone Cold, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and Becky Lynch, you'd have been like, what the hell is even that? That ain't real. You wouldn't have probably believed that, but in this set, they have four talents listed here, and they have Hulk Hogan, Roman Reigns, Bret Hart, and Shawn Michaels together as a Legends of WrestleMania box set Target exclusive. So I think that is pretty, pretty cool, man. I, I don't know. That sounds like that could be something. You flip it on the back. It's got like the freaking Mount Rushmore of WrestleMania talents right there. You know, that probably would be the best WrestleMania performers ever. I mean, outside of The Undertaker, which I feel like you could have included over Bret Hart potentially. I know that, you know, Hogan, say what you want about Hogan and Roman Reigns, but, you know, they do have the, the sort of history and career to put it up there. I mean, I don't know how you make a Legends of WrestleMania box set without Undertaker, though. That's kind of nuts, to be honest with you. That's actually kind of blasphemy. But, you know, it, it, I could see it. I could see what they're going for there. Shawn Michaels would, would have to be included. I mean, you could, I guess you could say, if you really want to go with the Legends of WrestleMania, like Roman Reigns is a legend of WrestleMania when you consider how many main events and wins he has. But if you wanted to wait on that, you could have replaced him with Undertaker or something. But I think that this is a completely, again, realistic set. I could see Mattel doing something like this. You guys know that they love to do things of this nature. They love to make these box sets and connect and make the connect dots and do all these things. So a completely legitimate possibility for a Target exclusive box set. And we know that they they've been doing a lot of box sets. So this 
you know, this kind of seems like it would go right down that road. It would look like it would go down that valley of having another box set right here. That is all of the stuff I wanted to cover. Again, there was a main event wave. There was a main event showdown wave. And even those names on those lists of the main events and the, the battle packs or the main event showdown packs seem legit too, man. They seem legit too. So I don't know. I don't know, man. I, again, I want to preface this again. All of this could be completely false. But also, I think that there is some... At least, I would say... Even if these waves aren't completely accurate, I think it's completely plausible that some of these figures could be coming down the pipeline, and it wouldn't shock me one bit. Maybe we see some of it at Ringside Collectibles Fest or Ringside Fest. Maybe we see it, you know, before the new year. I don't know. We'll have to see about all those things, man. But I did want to get on here, touch on this, thought it was interesting, came across my desk. like to always, I, and I have no idea the source. I have no idea the source, so I really can't. You know, but I wouldn't make a video on it if I didn't think it had any legitimacy whatsoever. So, I don't know, man. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think it's completely accurate? This is why we're making the video, so you can tell me what you think of all this. But let me know what you think of all these things down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, man, a huge shout-out to our Patreon members. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so very much for your support. You guys are the absolute goats. But... That is all the news that we have for today, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off with all the damn reviews we've had to do in the last two to three weeks. I mean, it's, abs it's been crazy at all the damn figures that have come in, man. So I greatly appreciate it. If you go check out the reviews, man, I greatly appreciate the support. But uh, leave me some comments. I'd get back to them as the best as I possibly can. But I'm getting out, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.